And again, it is the last day of, of, uh, of uh, November. Hard to believe we've gone through the month that quick. Hard to believe that we've just gone through this yeah. year that quickly, but it's also the last day of hurricane season. Hurricane season, just a short time ago, we were talking with our lead hurricane expert, Dan Kotlowski, talking about the season. We only had uh, uh, four impacts right mm -hmm. now, but one of them was a dahlia. And joining me right now is AccuWeather Extreme Meteorologist. You know him from storm chasing, you know him from tornadoes, but Reed, Dr. Reed Timmer also puts himself in the middle of hurricanes. And you know, Reed, thanks for joining us, by the way. I know you're gonna be chasing later today in, uh, in the Houston area, but let's talk about this uh, season. Wasn't many land falling storms, but what's something were your most memorable moments so far or with this hurricane season now that it's ending today? Well, definitely leading up to the hurricane season, I think there's a lot of warm water down in the Gulf of Mexico yeah. and off the southeastern U.S. So we thought there were going to be a lot of those strong uh, hurricanes again and big hurricane landfalls like we had previously back to 2017. But I think because of El Nino, you had a lot of sinking motion, a lot of wind shear across that area and a lack of cloud cover. So it almost created a conflict of interest out there. But I think we were all worried that if a hurricane went into the Gulf of Mexico and fed off that warm water, mm -hmm. that we'd have some big problems. And it almost happened with Hurricane Adalia. We were definitely concerned with that hurricane coming into the Northeast Gulf. It looked like it was rapidly intensifying, briefly got up to a Category 4. Uh, but thankfully, it underwent that eye wall replacement cycle just as it was coming in. Still, though, a very damaging storm up there yeah. in the, uh, the portion of the Nature Coast, one of the biggest hurricanes to ever impact that area. And we rode it out down there in Cedar Key and definitely one of the more storm surge prone areas down there in the northwest Florida coast. And, and I understand. I, I remember talking to you, Reed, you, you were the, the storm surge was very impressive as that made landfall. One of the more impressive ones you've seen, correct? That's right. Definitely one of the more impressive uh, storm surges I've ever seen. And we were right near sea level for that one. And that area of the coastline is really concave, too. So it was really prone to that piling up of the water. And we were definitely trapped there uh, for a large portion of the day until that water receded. And I hear that Cedar Key is definitely recovering very quickly, which is good to hear. So they've had some hurricane storm surges over the years, including Hurricane Hermine. Even Hurricane Katrina back in 2005 caused a pretty big storm surge in this area. So they built up the infrastructure to handle mm -hmm. uh, a bigger storm surge. And thankfully, after Hurricane Adalia, it, it put it to the test. And it sounds like they're bouncing back quickly. Let's talk about the other storm that you were there, uh, made landfall, where you were at Lee as it came into uh, uh, Nova Scotia, you were right where that center of circulation moved through. For much of the U.S., it was mostly a lot of waves, but boy, describe that experience. Well, that was interesting up there in Nova Scotia. It was almost like a, a nor'easter on steroids, a very large wind field, and certainly what made that storm impressive was the wave action up there in Nova yeah. Scotia. That's why you go up there to chase those storms as a storm chaser and a meteorologist to witness that power of nature up in Nova Scotia, those huge waves up in Peggy's Cove, and also the Donaire, too. I got uh, to try one of the, the Nova Scotian kebabs up there, which is their uh, <laughs> local food in Nova Scotia. So that, that made that trip incredibly memorable, too. Uh, but the wind fields up there, uh, the people are really nice up in Nova Scotia. Uh, but definitely a more of a nor'easter on steroids as that tropical system kind of rode the Gulf Stream up to Nova Scotia. All right, Dr. Reed Timmer, we're going to let you go. You are heading down toward the Houston area today. Let's uh, hopefully we're not going to see any tornadoes, but I know that is a concern. Dr. Reed Timmer, no one knows severe weather more than Dr. Reed Timmer, and he also always is in the right spot for hurricanes. Thanks, Dr. Reed.